Today, I'll show you how to make anything glow in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for this image in the video description. So for this image, we're going to make this book glow. To do that, first we need to make a selection of the book, and since this book has nice straight edges, I'm going to use the pen tool to do this. So come on over here and select the pen tool. And up in the context toolbar, I'm going to turn on rubber band mode. This just gives us a preview as we're laying out the nodes for the next node that we'll lay down. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And I'll go ahead and click once to start us off here. And you can see rubber band mode shows you that wherever your cursor is, if you lay down a point, that's exactly the line you're going to have. So I think this is really helpful, especially if you're first starting out using the pen tool. So for straight points, I'm just going to click once, but for a curve like this, I'll click and drag, and this will create a bit of a curve. So I'm just going to continue to use the pen tool to trace around the entire book, avoiding his fingers. If you ever mess up, feel free to press Command or Control Z to undo a point that you've laid down. To finish off your trace, click on the first point that you started with, and then we're going to go up to the top and press Selection. So now I have a selection made of this book, and I want to place this book onto its own layer. To do that, press Command or Control J. This has duplicated our current layer, but only duplicated what's in our selection. I'll press Command or Control D to deselect. And now you can see on this little layer icon here that we only have the book visible on this layer. So now we're going to start the process of making the book glow. To do this, I'm going to start by duplicating this layer with Command or Control J. Then I'm going to change the layer's blend mode to screen. So you can see how that's made the book brighter and we're going to layer multiple layers on top with the same effect to make it glow even more. But before we do that, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to this layer. And I'm going to give this blur a radius of around five pixels. Then I'll select the layer and duplicate it with Command or Control J. Now, because I duplicated this layer, everything that this layer had comes up here to this new layer. So for example, we changed the blend mode to screen, so you can see we still have that set, and we still have a Gaussian blur layer. I'm just going to double click on that layer, and I'm going to increase the blur. Then I'll repeat this process by selecting the whole layer and then pressing Command or Control J. Then I'll select the blur and double click on it, and I'll increase this to 100 pixels. And let's just do this one more time. I'll select that layer, press Command or Control J. Then I'll double click on the Gaussian blur layer, and I'm going to type in a number this time. I'm going to set this to 300 pixels, and then I'll press Enter. So now you can start to see this glow effect taking shape. I'm going to select the first layer, then I'll hold down shift and select the last book layer that we have here, and I'm going to group all of these layers together with command or control G. So now that they're all grouped together, I can manipulate all of these layers at the exact same time. And the first thing I want to do is I want to recolor this book to give it more of a warm glow. So I'll come over here to our adjustments and then select the recolor adjustment. You can see this was placed on top of everything. I'm just going to click and drag this down and to the right of the group. And now it's only affecting the books. 
Then I'll go ahead and adjust the hue and saturation. I'm going to bring the hue over to around 26. And then I'm going to lower the saturation a little bit. So now we have this nice glowing book and a warm glow. I think this looks really good for the book. And now I want to focus on the rest of our image. A good way to make something look brighter in an image is to make everything else look darker. So I'm going to darken the background. That way this book really stands out. To do that, I'll select our background layer. Then I'll come to our adjustments and select the levels adjustment. To make this image appear darker, I'm going to start with the output white level and I'm just going to drag this down to around 56%. You can also adjust the gamma slider and move it over to the right and you can see how this just makes everything in the image even darker. I'm just going to bring this over a little bit. And now you can see that that book is really standing out. However, this doesn't look very realistic because if this book was glowing, then shouldn't the surrounding areas have some light cast on them? To make this look more realistic, make sure you still have the levels adjustment selected. Then we're going to paint on its white mask. So go ahead and grab the paintbrush tool and make sure your color is set to black. And then make sure you have a nice low flow and 0% hardness. Using my paintbrush tool now, I'm going to go ahead and paint to remove the levels adjustment. Because our mask is white, by painting in black, you can see that we'll be adding that brightness back into the image. So the main areas I want to do this on are his face and on the front of his shirt here. And I also want to make sure that I really brighten up his hands since they're super close to the book. I'm also going to brighten up a few other areas by emphasizing this glow on his arm and bringing some light into these creases on his shirt. And I also want to brighten up his pants since the book's glow should be casting more light down here as well. In addition to removing the darkness there, I'm going to remove some of the darkness on this bookshelf behind him. And I think that looks pretty good. So now you can see the before and after of that levels adjustment. So now that our background looks darker, I think what I want to do is brighten our subject even more. To do this, I'll go to our adjustments and then I'll apply a curves adjustment. I'll go ahead and make this bright. And then I want this to only be applied to certain areas, not the whole image. So I'm going to invert this layer by pressing Command or Control I. So now the mask on that layer is black, meaning that it's applied to nothing. I'm going to change my paintbrush to white paint, and then I can paint in white to reveal this brightness. I'm going to reveal the brightness on his face and on the other areas that we just painted. I think that looks really nice. Here's the before and after. He definitely looks a lot brighter now and I think that looks so much better. To add even more brightness to our subject, I'm going to do this one more time by applying a curves adjustment. Then I'm going to make it super bright and I'll invert it with Command or Control I. This time, I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to do a little bit more detailed work. So to show you this, I'm going to go ahead and add some more brightness to areas that are closest to the book, like the tip of his nose. I'll go ahead and add a little extra brightness there, the front of his face. That looks pretty good. 
I'm going to emphasize this light glare here on his glasses. And these little strands of hair up here. So I'm just trying to emphasize that the light is really hitting him by adding this extra brightness. In addition, down by his fingers, I'm just going to brighten up his fingertips that are closest to the book. And over here on this hand, I'm going to brighten the side of his hand that's closest to the book. And then I'm going to brighten a few of the ripples on his pants here. And there we go. Now, I think this area on his face looks a little strange, so I'm going to use a bigger brush just to soften some of that lighting. And let's see how that's looking. Here's the before and after. If you ever paint too much and want to remove some of it, you can switch your color to black, and then you can paint over the area to remove what you've painted. There we go, I think this is looking really nice. So here's the before and here's the after. So if you remember, we recolored this book. I want to use the same orange coloring to reflect it on our subject. I'll open up the book group and I'll select the recolor adjustment and I'll duplicate it with command or control J. Then I'm going to click and drag this down so that it's outside of the group. I'll press Command or Control I to invert this layer, and now we can paint in white on our subject to reveal this orange coloring. Now I'm going to use a very low flow for this because I don't want to completely recolor the subject. I just want to add some orange glow onto his face and onto his shirt. just in a few areas to emphasize that he's in the same environment as this book. Oh, this looks so good. I'm really happy with this. Now to finish this off, I'm going to add one more adjustment on top of everything. So I'll select the group. Then I'm going to add a color balance adjustment. This is just going to allow us to manipulate the colors in the shadows and highlights to finish off this effect. So because we have an orange glowing book, I want to apply the opposite color to the shadows. That way the book really stands out. So for the shadows, I'm just going to add a little bit of cyan and a little bit of blue. Then I'll go to the midtones, and for the midtones and highlights, I'm going to warm up these colors. So I'll do that by adding in some red and adding in some yellow. And I'll do that with the highlights as well. This really warms up the image. Here's the before and here's the after. And there we have it. I love how this effect turned out. If you want to learn more affinity tricks, be sure to check out my free course in the video description, where you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.